Okay, so what happens in a shared media like Ethernet with a hub in the center that broadcasts incoming packets or incoming frames that hit the hub are broadcasted out of every other port? What will happen if two PCs want to send to each other at the same time? We can demonstrate that here in Packet Tracer and you can see the collision. It's pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll go to simulation mode and let's see here simulation mode and edit filters we're using ARP here and ICMP but I'm gonna do something different this time I'm gonna say okay grab a simple PDU here PC6 is communicating with PC3 but at the same time I'm gonna grab another one and say PC4 is gonna to try to talk to PC6 so we have two pings that are going to happen at the same time. And you can see that PC4 obviously needs to do an ARP broadcast first, but it's not going to matter because basically both devices are going to send at the same time. So I'll hit Capture Forward, and you can see they both hit the hub at the same time, and then Capture Forward again, and you can see here that there's been a collision and all of the frames are on fire. <laughs> So pretty cool little animation there. So we've had a collision. Um, two computers tried to basically send at the same time, and the result is a collision. And you can see it depicted by the little fire animation right here. In the event of a collision and two devices sending at the same time, the sending devices will sense the collision by the raised amount of voltage on the wire and then they will send out a jam signal and the jam signal will go to every device in the network kind of like these packets going to every device in the network and that'll tell every device that they need to stop sending and at that time a back off algorithm is run which basically generates a random amount of time uh, for everyone to stop sending and whoever has I guess the shortest algorithm time will be the one that gets to start sending afterwards okay let's compare the same process but instead of a hub let's use a switch in the center and see how that changes the dynamic of the whole operation so we can scroll over here and you can see I've set up the similar situation except now instead of a hub in the center we have a switch in the center so first of all let's take a look here I'll open up this PC and go to the command prompt and you can see here if I run an ARP-A that this PC already knows about computer 1.3 and 1.4, right? So there's no need for, let's say, a broadcast ARP, um, an ARP broadcast to resolve the MAC address of the devices. So it can just go ahead and ping straight away the device. Now let's see the difference between how the switch handles it versus the hub. So we'll go to simulation mode and we'll go to edit filters and you can see we have ARP and ICMP selected and I will click on simple PDU and I'll put it on there we go PC6B to PC3B and you can see there's ICMP so there's no ARP required if I hit capture forward you don't see ARP here and as soon as it hits the switch and I hit capture forward again the switch delivers it right to PC3 without broadcasting it to every device in the network. And similarly, when it comes back, PC3 can respond exactly to PC6, and you can see there was no broadcast required. There was no ARP broadcast required, and the switch doesn't need to, let's say, broadcast that frame to every device on the network. Now, this would be different if I, let's say, reset the simulation, or I'll just go back to real-time mode and this time I'll take the PC and I will delete the ARP cache right so now we don't know where the device is so if we don't know where the device is and I'll delete the last scenario and I'll go back to simulation mode and we'll go to edit filters and you can see we want to see ARP and ICMP but this time PC6 does not know the MAC address, right, of PC3. So we'll say, we'll get a packet here. So put one here and put one here. 
So this is a ping from PC6 to PC3. You can see that instantly we're trying to do an ICMP ping, but we need an ARP broadcast. So you can see that it's still a situation where we might need to broadcast to every device in the network, and then the device that will reply is the one that it was intended to, right? And so ARP can still be, uh, can still function, and we still have broadcasts on the network even if we have a switch. The difference is, is once ICMPs are sent, the switch can send it directly to the device without also broadcasting it to every other device in the network. And so that's nice. So the switch is an improvement over the hub as far as Ethernet networks are concerned. Now, what if we want to delete this scenario, and we'll go back to real-time mode, and we do the same situation except this time we try to do two pings at the same time and see how the switch handles it as opposed to the hub. So let's do that now. So edit filters, you can see we still have the correct filters on, and then I'll get a simple PDU. This is a ping from PC6 to PC3, and then I'll get another one from PC4 to PC6. So we have two pings that are going to happen at the same time. You can see that the ARP caches have already been resolved. So this is going to be two pings at the same time. And what I'll do is I'll hit capture forward. You can see it hits the switch and the pings go to the devices. And you can see there's no frames on fire or packets on fire. The switch enables two devices to send at the same time and receive at the same time without their being a situation of a collision and let's say frames on fire. So it worked out. You can see here successful and successful.